As you're coming up, that's all real raw logs that we use. And the bark is still on so that you have that textural piece. And then we've added ropes so that you have vestibular movement as part of that and horizontal bars so that you can actually swing and get upside down, but carefully judged as to how high those go off the ground. When you come up, you'll hit the sand area, sand and water. I mean, dry sand's only good if you're a cat. If you're, if you're a human being and you want to make something cool, you need water. And that engages the kids for a long, long time. We worked with Genescape and they came in and made this amazing stream. And then there's a dock here. This was actually going to be an educational zone that we were going to be teaching here. And as you keep on moving up, everywhere you look, it's an accessible 1 to 20 slope that gets you slowly but surely up to an 8 foot height in here. And then at the top of this there's a, a tree fort and in there there's crafts and clay creatures and so on uh, to be built and made by the kids, young and old. And then as you get to, to the very end of this you get to go down a hundred year old oak tree that we carved as a slide that's 15 feet long that's fast, like it's good. All of the stuff that you see in here was actually designed for and with Windreach Farm which is a charity that focuses on accessibility to nature. And they have programs for kids there. So all of the things that I just described, eventually will find a home there and will become this a little bit more dispersed, not as concentrated as it is here. It's all part of the design for Windreach Farm so that their kids can have an accessible play area that connects them to nature when and where they play.